Okay, everyone, we are gonna start by adding in eight ounces of cream cheese and three sticks of butter. We're just gonna put these in and give them a mix. Okay, we're gonna scrape down the sides. Make sure everything's getting combined really good. in one and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract. I have a tablespoon measuring spoon here. I'm just gonna do half. And optional, you can add in one and a half teaspoons of almond extract. I do not have that, so I'm gonna add in another one and a half of vanilla. I'm gonna give it a little bit of a mix, and I'm gonna grab my eggs. for a moment I need to make some cake flour I do not have any cake flour so I'm gonna show you what to do in the situation that you don't have it either so for cake flour how this works is for every one cup of all-purpose flour you will take out two tablespoons and replace it with cornstarch so that's what I'm gonna do again I'm using a half cup measuring cup so I will take out one tablespoon per half cup. Okay, so you can see I have a half cup here. I'm going to take one tablespoon out. And I'm going to put this in here. I'll do the same thing again. And I'm going to dump that in. I need one and a half cups of cake flour. So we are going to do this three times with a half cup measuring cup. I'm going to put that right on top of the all-purpose flour. Now I'm going to put this aside. What we're going to do now is just sift this. If you have a sifter, that's great. I'm just using a strainer. It works perfect. So now I'm just going to go over to this bowl. You want to sift this about at least five times because you want to make sure that everything is aerated and combined. That's what's going to give us a nice light flour. We're going to dump this in again, and we're going to do it again. The recipe calls for one and a half cups of all-purpose flour in addition to the cake flour. So I'm going to sift that with my cake flour here. Uh, this is not required. I just am going to do this just to get it mixed in, make sure there's no lumps. You only need to do this once. You do not need to repeat it again. We're going to go back to the mixing bowl and finish our recipe. So now we are going to alternate adding in our flour and our eggs. I'm just gonna put my cover on here so it doesn't splatter all over. Turn this on low. You wanna add about a half a cup of flour each time. And alternate with one egg. all the flour and egg is off the sides. Pan ready. You just want to give your pan a little bit of a spray. I'm just going to clean the edges here.
the cake is done, I'm just going to put some powdered sugar on it. Look at that guys, look how flaky that is. Ugh. I never used to make pound cake because I thought it was just complicated. I don't know why. But I ended up serving this with berries and whipped cream. It was so good. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know if you decide to try it. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.